What's up guys? Jacob Umanski here for Dark Glass Electronics. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy out there. Today, I'm here to give you a little demo and show you how I use the new Element headphone amp and cab simulator. The Element has touch sensitive volume control sliders for each headphone output and one slider in the center to set the blend between the main input and aux in for both headphones. Below the three sliders, we have a touch sensitive IR select board where you can choose between five different onboard cab sims, as well as load new impulses using the dark glass suite. The element is loaded with flexible audio connection options. We have one USB-C port for transferring impulse responses and firmware updates, an auxiliary input, a three-way decibel switch, one instrument in, and one instrument out. One of the coolest features of the element is the Bluetooth capability. Pair the pedal to your phone and use the center slider to blend the instrument input and Bluetooth audio for your headphones. Whether it's backing tracks, click tracks, or your favorite tunes to jam to. It's really an amazing tool for practicing and teaching as well. Every tour I offer in-person lessons, and at one point or another, I always run into the problem of trying to find a quiet place in the venue, tiny amps not being loud enough, or just the inconvenience of setting up my laptop and interface multiple times a day. With two headphone jacks and built-in Bluetooth allowing me to play different songs and exercises through the pedal, the Element is a huge game changer for teaching on the road or just playing quietly in your bedroom. So now I'm going to show you how to change your impulse responses using the Dark Glass Suite, which you can download free from the Dark Glass website. The pedal holds up to five different IRs at once, and you can load any impulse you'd like, including bass cabs, guitar cabs, and presets made by well-known Dark Glass artists. So I'm just going to fill these five slots with bass impulses because I'm a bass player. So the way I'm achieving the tone for this video is with my bass plugged into the B7K, through the Element, and straight into Pro Tools via the direct output. When it comes to playing live, you can put the Element on your pedal board at the end of your signal chain and send your full tone to front of house with the XLR outputs. So what you're hearing in this video is a Dark Glass 412 with a 414 on it. But I'm also going to load Forrester Sable's Bitey Caps in because it's what I've been using live primarily with intervals, John Stockman's 8x10 because why wouldn't you want that, Nolly's Mega Meld because it's a crowd favorite and one of mine, and just a caps in from the X7. Whether it's practicing on your own, using it as a tool for teaching, or just playing live shows, the Element is the best modern solution for any gigging or practicing musician. You can pick one up for yourself at darkglasselectronics.com.